dragons. Well, let's see some fire. Maybe a little smoke. Mm, we'll just try and look scary, hmm? Bye. Good morning, Gabriel Bocha. Betty? Is he there? This is Mrs. Lewis. Oh, hi. Sure, he's outside. Would you get him? Oh, sure. Hold on a second. That's no good, Paul. Can it be ready before that? All I can do is try. Well, if we yeah. have to... Yeah? Mrs. Lewis, I'm lying too. I'll be right there. Do the best you can, huh? He wants to take it out over the weekend. I'll try, I'll try. Hello, my wife on line two. How are you? Ben. Katie, what's up? Hi. M my car just <laughs> jumped up and <laughs> bit the carport. Are you hurt? N no, but the carport's dead and the car's wounded. Where are you now? At home. Right here, it, it happened in the, the drive. Where are you in the house? In the living room. Sit down. I, I am. Sit back then, please. Mm. Katie, I'm coming home. Hurry, Ben. I need you, please. I'll be there. <laughs> Betty! Betty! Yeah? I'm leaving. Anything wrong? A slight accident at home. Oh, no. Is she all right? Yeah, it's no problem. Call the auto club. Have them send a tow truck to my house. Okay? I'll call later. Okay. Sailors, sit down. Tell me what happened. I don't know. I started it and pedal stuck. It's, it's just a few dents. It's nothing. Betty is going to call the auto club. They'll send a tow truck. I keep seeing it and feeling it happen. 
But it can't happen anymore. It's gone. Where were you going? Um, shopping. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, let's go. I'll go with you. Okay. Give me a minute. Hmm? One minute, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Listen, the dogs are mad at me. They're scared too. Mm. Just scared. Mm. One minute. Fantastic idea, making him a little boy. Oh, well, kids are easier for me anyway. I think I'll do Winston Churchill next. Like he was, only in short pants with a lollipop instead of a cigar. <laughs> then maybe Attila the Hun. Attila? Attila? Boy, well, how about Columbus? Yeah. In a toy boat. Oh, right. <laughs> and Geronimo. I've been going through your books and I found this one about Indians. Did you know Geronimo's Indian name was one who yawns? Mm -mm. Can you imagine so I'm going to do this little boy yawning, right? You know how kids yawn. They don't cover their mouths. They just... <sighs> mm, just wide open, taking a big bite out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking about Don Quixote. <laughs> Thought of Billy. Why? Look at the scar. It's the same hand. Yeah. <laughs> One more. And I thought of him when my car hit the carport. I know it's crazy. I haven't thought of him in so long. Not even a dream. Now it seems like oh, but he's hurting me again. I know it's dumb. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. Don't be sorry. Go ahead and think about it. 
He's back there, in Paris. He's in the scrapbook. <laughs> Then you lazy things. Mm. Bet you can't guess who this is going to be. Don't even try, it's nobody you know. It's somebody I've been thinking about lately. More than I have in a long while. I think I'd best make him a soldier. He loved being a soldier, Billy did. See you tomorrow.
Blimey. What are you doing here? I live here, remember? <laughs> You're home early. Yeah. I'm so glad. Have a good day. Mm, how's your hand? Oh, it's okay. Smell like salt. <laughs> oh, crikey. I'll be getting sand all over the place. Yeah, tar. Nasty stuff. Oh, but it's so lovely down there, Ben. Can we go for a swim? I'd like to, but I have some calls to make. Mm, you know, stick on a log and I'll bump in the mud. Mm. Well, I'm going to take a shower. Uh. I said I'm going to take a shower! Hey, whose car is that? Where's yours? That one's rented. Mine wouldn't start. Oh, <laughs> must be something going round. <laughs> Soledad Prison, please. Thank you. I wonder if you could give me some information about one of your prisoners. His name is... Surely I'll, I'll hold up. His name is Calder. With a C. C-A-U-L-D-E-R. William Calder. I just want to know if he's there. Transferred? Transferred where? Kenna. Kenna. When? When was he transferred, please? I see. No. I know where McKenna prison is. Thank you. Could you face him? Can you be in the same room with him, Katie? He is here. I, I knew it. He is here. But could you? No, no, I could. Listen to me. Look at me, Katie. A year ago, you couldn't even think about him. Two years ago, you couldn't even say his name. Tell me if he's here. Ben, please. I just called Soledad Prison. He was transferred to McKenna Prison last year. McKenna? That's 20 miles from here. 
Maybe he broke out. Maybe he was paroled. How could he find me? I don't know. I just know it's him. It has to be. You know what, W? There was a W traced on your car, Katie. I think he wired that plug to hurt you. Today he wrecked my car. Oh. No. He'll tell the police about me. He could have done that already, but he hasn't. He'd rather... He just wants to hurt us. That's... We have to end it, Katie. But we need help, legal advice. We'll talk to Arnie. Tell him everything. He'll know what we can expect from the police. He'll help us. But first, Katie, first, I have to know that you can face him. Just be in the same courtroom with him. He won't get near you, I promise. Then they put me in jail. Away from you. I couldn't so, be away from you. We'll tell him everything he I'm did. I'm still you. wrong. I still stayed away. I just stayed away. Let him go to jail. All this time in jail for killing his wife. And I'm still alive. But why, Katie? We know why. He could arrest you too. Then you mustn't tell Arnie or anyone you knew about it. You didn't know. I can't let you. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Just stop saying you're sorry. all my battles. I won a battle when I was able to buy that and keep it here and look at it. There. Look at your strong, stable woman. strong. I'm very strong. Good morning, Arnold Felsen's office. Can I speak to Arnie, please? Who 
Who's calling, please? Lewis. Oh, good morning, Mr. Lewis. I'm sorry, he's not in. When do you expect him? Well, he's in San Francisco on a trial case, I think, tomorrow afternoon. If he checks in, have him call me here or at work. Anytime. It's urgent, please. Thank you. Come on, Dave. Come on. Out. Yes. My name's Charles Jasper. I'm a private investigator. I'd like a word with you, if you don't mind. All right. It's open. Look. What is it? Well, that all depends. On what? I told you my name is Charles Jasper. I'm a private investigator. There's a safety on that thing, Mr. Lewis. What do you want? The job. Who sent you? Nobody. May I come in? People sure are rough on cars. We got two of them in the Sanford garage. Well, what a pretty place. Boy, I've always wanted to live by the ocean. Yeah, we like it. Well, get to the point. First, the mechanic who repaired Mrs. Lewis's car, he told me that he thought someone had tampered with the gas pedal to cause an accident. Now your car's a total washout because of those bad brakes. Two accidents in one week? What happened to that hand, Mrs. Lewis? Why would a mechanic call you? Because he's a friend of mine. Because he knows I like to work, and he knows I'm good at it. And I am. Can I sit down? What's the mechanic's name? That's an intelligent question, Mr. Lewis. Very good. You should never trust anybody. Mark Donna. Ask for Donnie. What's the number? Uh-uh. You look it up. I could give you a phone. It could be a setup. This way, if you look it up, we'll... All right, so somebody called you. So I considered the possibilities. One, the mechanic is wrong and you're in no danger. If that were true, you wouldn't have opened the door like Wild Bill Hickok. Two, you're in danger and the police are helping you. No police in sight, no one at the gate. Okay, three. You are in danger and you need my confidential and professional help. And what help? I try to protect yourself, Mr. Lewis, when you can hire a professional to do it. I wish you'd put the safety on that thing. You got a pad and pencil? Jasper Detective Agency, 10 years in business, staff of five, two radio cars. People don't like to have cards around from private detectives. Anybody sees that, they wanna know what it is. No embarrassing questions. Everything's confidential. Mr. Lewis, it's one thing I tell every client. Whatever the trouble is, it's happened before. I've handled it before. Not this. And every client says, not this, Mrs. Lewis. Protection is protection. I can assure you that nobody will get near your cars. Nobody will get on your property. No questions asked. Well, that must be worth something to you. If it is, I'll uh, let you know. Up to you, Mr. Lewis. Meanwhile, Keep the safety on that. Oh, and if you don't have a permit for that gun, well, I got one for mine. 
Bye-bye. I think he's okay. I think so. I'll have Arnie check him out as soon as he gets back from... Don't leave me here today. I won't. Please. I won't. I'll skip work. We'll both get out of here. We'll go out on the boat. Huh? Arnie Felsen calls, get me on the ship to shore. It's very important, though. Okay, don't worry. And have some fun, Ben. I don't want to go on the boat. Okay, then. I can't. He's probably been there, too. Damn it, he can't be every place. We're gonna start seeing him in every goddamn crowd, feel him watching us. That's just what he wants, Katie. All right, I'll go aboard first. I'll call you. to know about boats and the sea and all that, aren't we? Well, you <laughs> all can be uh, Sir Thomas Lipton or uh, ch 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 <laughs> Chiches, do you fool? <laughs> I wish we could do what Sir Francis Chichester did. Just keep going round the world. Only together, of course. We'd find some lovely island with coconuts and bananas. And lobster? Oysters and mangoes. Love <laughs> mangoes. Right now, how about getting a sailor a beer? Okay, hold on. Yeah. I'm glad you're not a real sailor. Thanks a lot. You know what I mean. Like those who go away to sea for months and months, with their wives waiting and wondering when they'll be coming home. I'd take you with me. Find that island, OK? Mm. But we can't yet, can we? I mean, it would be like, like trying to run away from a toothache, wouldn't it? Ben, I, I don't think Billy would break out of prison. Why not? He can't be on his own, that's all. Hey, that's enough, we promised, remember? I could go away, you know. It, it's me he wants. He can't have you. 
You belong to us. Hazel! Got me food! <laughs> hey, you got a little pillow today. Oh, blimey, yeah, I can feel it as well. Ben, call the police. No. What does she have? Not the police. Jasper Detective Agency. This is a recording. Please leave your name and number and a 30-second message after you hear the signal. This is Ben Lewis. You get here as soon as you can.
see what's here right now, right in front of me. What would you do? Yes. Charles Jasper. I got your message. planning to do with that? There's a crazy man out there. Now he's got a gun, my gun. Today he butchered our dogs. He comes back here tonight, we gotta get the son of a bitch. What's the name of this uh, son of a bitch? Well, the more I know, the more I can help. His name's Billy. William called it. He's either been paroled or broken out of jail. What jail? McKenna. There's been no breakouts in McKenna. None that they haven't found. I'd know about them. Your man has been out on parole and you didn't tell me. I'm not gonna ask you why. Whatever your problems are, whatever you don't want me to know, that's up to you. But do you realize how vulnerable he is? You don't have to play his game. You don't have to be defensive. You just let me go after him. I'll have him back in McKenna in a matter of hours. And no one will connect you with it whatsoever. Put back. One complaint. That's all it takes. You mean frame him for something? You got a glass of water? You're right. But it's a special request. The price goes way up. How would you find him? He's a parolee, he must be. Even if he's broken parole, I can get everything from the police. Pictures, anything, including their help. Ben? Look, the way things are going, you people can't afford to waste time. I lock this guy up and fast. How much? A little cost. I mean, like what? Five thousand. Ben, no. Mrs. Lewis, what price did you put on your dogs? Hey, you gotta pay people to perjure themselves and pay a lot. I'll get this guy off the streets and put him away for at least another year. Well, I'm not gonna bargain with you, Hey, look, I'm not asking you to bargain or to put him away for a year. All I want from you is a little time and protection, that's all. Just keep him out of here. It's your party. Round the clock protection, 350 a day. All right. Ben, if Arnie's coming we back. You can't to wait. Help. We need help. Hello, Dolores. Yeah, I've got some new clients. This is a recording. I take this down. Please leave your name and number. Lewis. 2040 North Coast Road. Yeah. Send Jack with the radio car. I'll meet him at Allen Street and the coast. Yeah. You sure you don't want something to eat? Police to 
yesterday reported the death of Mr. and Mrs. Ben Lewis of 2040 North Coast Road. Ben Lewis was owner of the Cabrillo Shipyard. Katie Lewis was also Ellen Catherine Calder, Mrs. William Calder. William Calder has been in prison for four years, convicted of her murder on circumstantial evidence. No body was ever found, and Calder to this day swears he is innocent. He is now serving his fourth year for second degree murder. Is four that him? years. Is that his four voice? Four years. Is that his voice? Four years. Four years. Possible. Will you check again, please? It's Calder, C A U L D E R. Sit down, what's wrong? William Calder. He was transferred there from. I'm sorry, sir. We have only one Calder, William. Transferred from Soledad Prison. Second degree murder, right? Well, is it possible that your files aren't up to date? It could have been the last couple of days. Look, mister, we may not do everything right, but we do know who's here and who isn't. This isn't a motel, you know. You do have tours? For the general public? Yeah, we have tour groups every day, but... At what time? 11 in the morning, 3 in the afternoon, but if you expect... What is it, Ben? Please. Do you remember what it said? You're not going to play it, are you? No, I can't. I tried. It must have erased as a play, but do you remember what it said? Yes. It said that Calder was serving his fourth year in prison as though he was still in prison. And now this guy at McKenna tells me that he's... He's there? But he can't be. Who else? That doesn't make sense. Unless... Jasper? Jasper? No, Ben. It has to be Billy. What if it isn't? You have to be sure. Come on. Better have the snapshot, honey. McKenna opened in nineteen sixty nine. It's a minimum security facility operated by the state. We concentrate here on training or retraining prisoners in welding, auto mechanics, printing, carpentry. 
We also have plans for other job training programs in electronics, like TV and stereo repair, household appliances. We also hope to instigate arts and crafts instruction, drawing, pottery, etc., with instruction by civilian artists, many of whom have already offered to donate their time. And on a very busy day, we, like last Wednesday alone, we put out over a thousand pounds of laundry. In fact, the men get quicker and better service here than they would from the average housewife who has to line up at the local laundromat. The men eat in shifts of 50. Smoking and talking are allowed. The atmosphere is more like that of a factory. Men eat and work under relaxed conditions. No marching. It's like a factory, but all the help is lived. For the most part, they're metal braces for shelves and partitions. And all the furniture you've seen in the prison is made right here. We also supply other nearby state agencies with shelves, tables, chairs, anything they need. I saw him, Katie. He's in there. So help me God, he's in there. I saw him. It's Jasper. Jasper's the one that hurt you and killed him. It's Jasper. It wasn't Billy. He is in prison. Did he say anything? What did he look like? Did you hear what I said? It's Jasper. He's the one. Jesus. Jesus, Katie. Why is he doing it? Why? Cool it. You're mixed up. I saw called it too, at McKenna. I was just on my way to your house when you busted in here like a nutcase. I'm sure you saw called it. But if you waited another hour, you wouldn't have seen him. What does that mean? Put that gun away. It's loaded.
You checked on Calder, huh? You're, uh... You're Billy. Has been serving his term like a perfect little soldier. Oh, yeah. William Calder is a model prisoner in a minimum security prison. A joint where they have a work release program for mama's boys. Oh, it's very progressive. Work release. You mean he does get out? You got it. He has a job in the community every afternoon. And at night, he goes back to the prison to sleep. Not much else. Boy, those prison head shrink sure can pick safe bets. And then I got to wondering about everything. About you and Calder and everything else. And I took a trip down to the newspaper morgue office. And I, I found out what happened to an Ellen Calder in Santa Cruz in 1969. Or what didn't happen. No wonder he's on your back. That's the bummest rap I've ever heard of. All right, Jasper, what do you want? Well, I took on a job I'd like to finish. I want to see that uh, Calder's work release program is canceled. How? Oh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lewis, you are beautiful. Those guys at McKenna aren't exactly overpaid. How much? I think... 5,000 should still do it. For now. Banks are open. That's all it takes, isn't it? Money. Enough money. Nothing comes cheap nowadays. And knowing the right and wrong people. Do you have a price for killing a man? You would kill him, wouldn't you? Well, he killed you, didn't he? Thank you, baby. You're a nice looking kid. He's a lucky guy. You're... Well, now we really can't call him your husband, can we? $2,500. Oh, I see. I get the balance when I deliver, huh? I'll get right over to McKenna. And don't worry, I've got a man watching the house. And remember, this whole thing is no problem. No problem at all. Why? Don't worry. Arnie's on his way to the house. You shouldn't have given that man the money. You know, we bought some time. He just keep coming back for more. Wrong. He won't get the chance. After today, Jasper can go to hell. So grown up for 23. So proper and polite. Sergeant he was. The captain he worked for said he was a fine soldier. He called him William. We were married at Chelsea Old Church. My mother was there. My best girlfriend, Billy's captain. It was very nice. 
It was only a month until he was discharged. And we came to America. It all seemed like a dream. You see, I'd never been out of London before. Then almost at once, he turned strange. Angry, he was. Like I was his enemy. There were times at night when he told me his dreams. No, not dreams. Dreams are good. Strange fantasies they were. Then the daytime would come. And he'd blame me for all the things he couldn't do. Like go back to school or be at home with his folks or even pay the bills. I didn't understand then. I do now. I even told him I wanted his child. And that was when he burned my hand on the stove. And I ran off. He came after me, don't know why. And brought me back and hurt me again. Twice I ran to the neighbours. The second time was, well, the last. He took me home and... When he was through, he, he left me there. I can remember hearing the door slam. I never saw Billy again. I didn't even pack a bag. Then you found me. Whatever Ben says, I'll do. I'll call you tomorrow, Billy. Why didn't you talk to me? Could have done something, could have worked something out. Ernie, when I found her, she was an emotional wreck. She'd even tried to kill herself. Sure, I knew what we had to do eventually, but it was damn near a year before she could tell me what she just... God, Ernie, she was doing so well. Gradually, day by day, she was almost there. All right, I've got some thinking to do. Listen, give me that uh, Jasper guy's phone number and address. You know, Ben, strangely enough, everything that's been happening to you can help us. All the things this crazy bastard has done to you is enough to convince anybody you should be locked up. All we have to do is prove it, thanks. And I hope called his fingerprints here on this thing. Something. Don't worry, Ben. I'll prepare some statements for you. Tomorrow we'll see the district attorney. I think you better, uh... Thanks. Take it easy. What do you want? And 
Are you, uh, Catherine Lewis? Yes. Well, I'm, uh, Lieutenant Whitfield, police. I have a search warrant and, uh, warrants for your arrest. Suspicion of murder. You have the right to be represented by counsel murder. at all stages of the proceedings and to remain been murdered? at all stages. Well, anything you tell us can be used... Damn it! Who... Who's been killed? Well, the deceased's name is William Calder. Please tell me how he died. Well, uh, I was hoping you would talk to me about that. Please. Deceased found and burned out pickup truck belonging to McKenna prison, license number. Body nearly destroyed by flames. Cause of death determined to be gunshot wounds in chest and head. Enough unburned flesh discovered to provide fingerprints, positively identifying deceased as William Calder. Mr. Lewis, have you ever seen these before? Any of these? Not this. This was in the newspaper? You recall the photo? Yes, La Paz. I've been down there fishing. But I didn't know it appeared in the newspaper. It's San Diego Star. This is how Calder found us, right? Oh, yeah. The originals of these were found in Calder's toolbox. Now, you knew that he was on a work release program. Only after Jasper told me. Jasper, yeah. Yeah. We know that you took part in a tour of McKenna Prison. Now, on that tour, it's made quite clear that minimum custody inmates... I didn't even stay for the whole tour. What? You're Mr. Lewis. Why didn't you separate from Calder? Hmm? Divorce him. He made me too afraid. I don't think you could possibly understand. I lived with him a year in this country. One year. When I ran away, it was like I'd just arrived. I didn't know anyone. I didn't even have the money straight. And I had nowhere to go but away. Hmm. So, um, you felt he deserved to die? Your husband was justified in killing him? He didn't. But once you knew that... Calder was convicted of murdering you. Well, why didn't you come forward, even after a year? You don't understand. I was not a whole person. There were just some scraps left. Most people would have swept me away somewhere. But I'd found a man named Ben Lewis. Ben Lewis is a very special person. He doesn't kill people. Just the opposite. Just the opposite. You own a 32 automatic. I did. It was stolen. When? Yesterday. Probably by William Calder. That's not evidence, Ben. It's not evidence. Nothing puts Calder in your home. Not the accidents, not the uh, W's, the, the dogs. There's no fingerprints on the tape recorder, nothing. What about Jasper? There's no trace of him. Did they check his office? Rented by a William Smith. No other address given. God damn it, Ben. I hope you're telling me everything. I mean, you can't be fooled enough to hold anything back now. You know it all, Ernie. Everything. Everything? Everything. Well, I wish to hell you told me a long time ago. There's no question in your mind? None. Katie. I love you both. You know that. So don't be afraid of me. Is there any chance that Ben killed him? None. He's with you all the time? Never left you for a minute? Of course. Help him, Arnie. Please help him.
Are you okay? Arnie, she can't stay here. There must be some way. I've already arranged bail for her. I'm afraid it won't be so easy for you, though. Conspiracy to obstruct justice is one thing, but... Well, isn't there anything on Jasper yet? The mechanic he mentioned? No. Nobody at the garage noticed anything. Nobody made a call. Please show him the pictures. No. You got a cigarette, huh? Yeah. Now, uh, these are all fellow inmates and known acquaintances of Calder at McKenna. your gun, Mr. Lewis. Found it in the sand on your beach. It's definitely the murder weapon. That, that gun was stolen. It was stolen. I told you that. By whom, Mr. Lewis? Hardly by the dead man. And how did it wind up on your beach? Ben, look. That's him. That's Jasper. Are you sure? Yeah. Samuel Tenley, confidence man, released five months ago from McKenna Prison, no current address. Well, don't you see they were in this together? Calder and him, they planned the whole thing together. Put out an APB on this man. Mr. Lewis, if you're suggesting that Jasper or Tenley killed Calder and planted the gun on your property, why? What motive? Well, that's your job, isn't it? Ben. The money. They were going to keep bleeding you for more. And Tenley killed Calder? The only hook he'd have to keep bleeding you? Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Lewis, but this is a waste of time. You see, the only fingerprints on the gun are yours. The charge is murder now, Counselor, not suspicion. I'd like to see my clients alone, if I may, Lieutenant. All right. Their minds are closed, aren't they? No, no, not closed, Ben. They just think they've got a pretty damn good case against you. We'll find this Jasper, whatever his name is. He's out there somewhere. It's just a matter of time. Time? Their money. It could be any place in the world. We'll find him, Ben. And when we do, we'll just take it from there. Okay. Yeah, get her out of here. Take care of her, please. Of course. And I don't want you to stay at that house. I'll be all right. I want you to... No, Katie, no. She'll stay with us. Jan's expecting her. Thank you. I'll leave you two alone. Marty? What's the worst? The worst, Ben, would be second degree, but it's not going to happen. We've got time. I'll be right outside, Katie. Second degree. The same as... God, <gasps> Katie. Katie, it hasn't happened yet. And I don't want you to say anything more right now. I know you and all the things that you're thinking, but you mustn't. I made a decision, and it was the right one because you're still alive and so am I. I want you to go with Arnie. Go on. I love you. Go on.
Can I help you pack, Katie? Arnie, I'm staying here. I've got to. Katie, that's ridiculous. You know how welcome you are. Of course I do. It's not that. You see, I belong here. It's important to me and Ben that I be strong now. Well, you promised him, and so did I. Yes, Arnie, but I know what I have to do and what I have to be. Ben will understand, I know. There's too many things here that won't fit into a suitcase. You don't realize it, but you're standing hip deep in memories right now. The lovely ones, I mean. I want to go through them, like scrapbooks. You're making a mistake, Katie. I wish you'd... No. Well, I can't very well pick you up and carry you out of here, can I? Jan will be disappointed. I know I am. Please change your mind. If you do, will you promise to call me? I will. Now don't worry. I'm going to be fine. You sure? Positive. I promise I'll do everything in my power. We'll beat this thing. Thank. Thank Jan for me too. I will. Hey, bye. So, great seeing you again. It's, it's really great. I can't, I can't tell you how great it feels just Standing this close to you.
Fingerprints. <gasps> Ellen. Katie. My name's Katie Lewis. Not anymore. Kate. What? Kate, you know me, that? I know you. You're Ellen Cole. Damn it, now hurry up. Why? Because we're leaving, Ellen. We're going away. Where? To prison. They'll find us, Billy. Who? <clears throat> Who'll find us? Ben? Ben Lewis is in jail. Well, William Calder used to be. Sam Denley, Charles Jasper is nowhere at all. And William Calder is dead. <laughs> it all worked. And it's still working. <laughs> now, Ellen Calder is going to disappear for the second time in her life. No trace. Same as before. So hurry up. I'm your guard, baby, and you're going to prison. Move! you. Chain me up. How do you think they kept me for four years? Huh? 
They give you rules. You follow the rules or you get hurt. Okay? Rules and locked doors and... I follow the rules. It's your turn. Now, now I've got Sam Tenley's car out there. I've got your Ben Lewis's 2,500 bucks and I got plans, plans for you. So move. Helen? Where'd you get this? I bought it. To remember me by? It's over. It's all over. It's gone. <laughs> it's over. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I was... I was sure you were dead. I... I told the police, I told, I said, I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her, but she must be dead or she'd, she'd come here. She wouldn't let me be in this place. She, she's dead. Or she lost her memory. I thought that too. I, I dreamed it. You came and said, I remember who I am now. Let my husband go. And then you said, I'm sorry, Billy. I am. I, I dreamed that. I, I said to myself, she doesn't hate me that much. She, she, she won't let me stay in here and, and, and stay and stay. She doesn't hate me that much. Please, please. God, she doesn't. But you do. You do. You do. You do. You do. You do. I want to hear how much you hate me. I want to hear it. Tell me. Say it. How much do you hate me? Say it. I hate him. I hate him. And, and he can stay in jail forever. And they can do whatever they want to him because I hate him. Say it. Say it. I hate him and I hope he dies. <laughs> Come. Oh, <laughs> 